hello dear learners today we are going to discuss the mcqs from microbiology the topic is bacterial growth part 1 from the bacterial growth so coming towards the mcq questions the first question is the first phase as you all know the bacterial growth curve the first phase of a growth curve is whether it is a log phase whether it is a lag phase whether it is a death phase or a, both a and b so before going to the answer we will first see the phases of bacterial growth now here as you can see first is lag phase another is logarithmic phase that is log phase which is also known as exponential phase third is stationary phase and last one is death phase so the question was the first phase of the growth curve is it is lag phase the correct answer is it is lag phase wherein the lag phase uh, all the cellular activity is there but growth of bacteria is not there of uh, the few of the cells which are placed in the nutrient medium they will allow the synthesis of proteins and other molecules which are necessary for the replication but they will not divide only size will increase next question is stage wherein cells are metabolically active but not dividing this stage is whether it is a lag phase whether it is a stationary phase whether it is a log phase or all of these the correct answer is it is lag phase we just now discussed that lag phase which is the very first stage of the bacterial growth curve wherein all the cells are metabolically active but only the thing is they are not dividing they are preparing themselves for the division and synthesis of uh, they are preparing or they will allow the synthesis of protein and other molecules which are necessary for the replication but they will not divide by themselves so the correct answer is lag phase which is the first phase of the bacterial growth curve next question is rapid bacterial growth phase is known as now the phase wherein bacteria are growing at the rapid rate the phase whether it is log phase whether it is lag phase whether it is lag phase or none of these the correct answer is it is log phase log phase which is also known as exponential phase in this log phase where in lag phase they prepare themselves for the division now in log phase the cell will divide by binary fission and doubling will take place in number after each generation time and in this phase they are highly metabolically active and since they are highly metabolically active they are growing at a faster rate so this is the stage wherein you can or we can target this stage for the destruction of or uh, dispersing of these bacteria wherein antibiotics will work by different mechanisms such as cell wall synthesis inhibition dna transcription rna translation that is protein synthesis and this phase will since the question rapid bacterial growth phase this is known as log phase which is also known by the name exponential phase next question is bacteria which need low oxygen for the growth rate are called whether they are thermophilic bacteria whether they are micro aerophilic bacteria whether they are facultative anaerobic bacteria or mycobacteria so as the name suggest low oxygen for the growth low means minute quantities and the name micro is less quantities or very small quantities and aerophilic means air loving oxygen loving so low but in low concentration so low oxygen for growth rate uh, which bac uh, bacteria which need low oxygen for the growth rate are micro aerophilic bacteria as you can see in the image these are micro aerophiles as you can see this is the bacterial growth they are growing in between so not at the bottom also like obligate anaerobe and not at the not like obligate aerobes also like they need high oxygen for the growth micro aerophiles are the bacteria which need 
दे आर एरोबिक ओनली बट दे नीड ऑक्सीजन इन वेरी लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पी एच रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टेरिया इज करेक्ट आंसर इज इट इज सिक्स पॉइंट एट टू सेवन पॉइंट टू पी एच मोस्टली रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस रेंज लाइक टूवर्ड्स न्यूट्र टूवर्ड्स न्यूट्रालिटी बट देर आर फ्यू माइक्रो फ्यू बैक्टेरियाज कॉल्ड एज एसिडोफाइल्स वेर इन दे आर मोस्ट एक्टिव और वेर इन दे आर ग्रोइंग एट द फास्टर रेट एंड विच कैन टॉलरेट द हाईली एसिडिक पी एच इवन पी एच वन दे कैन टॉलरेट सच बैक्टेरियाज आर कॉल्ड एज एसिडोफाइल्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द आयन दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ट्रेस अमाउंट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टेरिया इज वेदर इट इज कैल्शियम मैग्नेशियम कोबाल्ट और सोडियम द करेक्ट आंसर इज इट इज कोबाल्ट कोबाल्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ट्रेस अमाउंट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टेरिया कोबाल्ट इज अ ट्रेस एलिमेंट इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कैरी आउट वेरियस मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेसेस एंड इन केस ऑफ एक्सेस कोबाल्ट बैक्टेरियाज हैव देयर ओन मेकेनिज्म टू रिमूव देम द एक्सेस क्वांटिटीज ऑफ कोबाल्ट बाय द इफ्लक्स सिस्टम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट विटामिन फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टेरिया इज whether it is b complex vitamin a vitamin d or vitamin c the correct answer is it is b complex the most important vitamin for the growth is b complex which is required for synthesis of dna rna proteins and major they forms a major component for the cell growth and metabolism along with that there are some other chemicals or some certain other requirements of the bacteria which will have their different functions like calcium magnesium potassium they are required for the functioning of certain enzymes iron is the part of enzyme then sulfur is the component of amino acids and so on so these are various chemicals which are required and their functions next question is if the source of energy for the bacteria is from chemical compounds they are said to be phototrophs autotrophs chemotrophs or chemolithotrophs the correct answer is it is chemotrophs as you can see in the image the organisms like which grow in uh, they utilize energy uh, sunlight as the source of energy they are called as phototrophs and those who don't require sunlight they are called as chemotrophs they use inorganic or organic material those who use inorganic materials are uh, autotrophs and organic materials are heterotrophs that means chemo heterotrophs chemo autotrophs and so on so here you can see the microorganisms which are utilizing chemical compound as the carbon source they are called as so the answer is chemotrophs when the source of energy is a chemical compound they are chemotrophs next question is in the synthesis of cell components the major element required is whether it is nitrogen sulfur carbon or oxygen the correct answer is it is carbon which is the major cell component or major element required in the synthesis of cell component next question is the generation time is whether it is the time required for the cell to divide the total division of the cell during the lifetime the total number of cells formed or none of these the correct answer is it is the time required for a cell to divide is called generation time and to double like as you can see in the diagram generation time is also known as doubling time wherein cell will divide by the binary fission and they will produce two separate daughter cells so the correct answer is it is time required for the cell to divide is generation time next question is log phase is also known as whether it is death phase exponential phase lag phase or none so as we have discussed earlier the log phase is also known as exponential phase next question is the number of generations per hour in a bacteria is whether it is a growth rate generation time sigmoid curve or none of these 
the correct answer is it is growth rate the rate growth rate is calculated by the growth rate constant that is specific growth rate which is denoted by k wherein the nf is final population n0 is initial population so and t2 time and t start time next is the reproduction rate is equal to death rate in which stage whether it is decline stage whether it is stationary phase whether it is lag phase or log phase the correct answer is it is stationary phase as the name suggests stationary the reproduction rate is equal to the death rate in stationary phase due to uh, nutrient depletion and waste product accumulation the growth will reach a plateau that is a constant stage wherein cell division will be equal to the cell death that means cells uh, this reproduction rate is equal to the death rate no growth will take place and in this stage specifically spore forming bacteria will produce the endospores and pathogenic bacteria which are responsible for various diseases next question is optimum growth temperature is greater than 45 degree celsius is they are mesophiles thermophiles psychrophiles or none of these the correct answer is as you can see in the image this is the temperature and this is the rate of growth wherein uh, in the range 40 to 70 lies the thermophiles so the correct answer is it is thermophiles optimum growth temperature is greater than 45 degree celsius is therefore thermophiles next question is the organisms which can grow both in presence and absence of oxygen are aerobes no because they grow in presence of oxygen anaerobes no because they grow in absence of oxygen facultative anaerobes and strict aerobes the correct answer is it is facultative anaerobes which can grow both in presence as well as absence of oxygen next question is growth curve does not include following phase of bacteria whether it is a decline phase stationary phase lag phase or synchronous growth so as we all know the growth curve has decline phase stationary phase lag phase and it is not having synchronous growth so the correct answer is it is synchronous growth growth curve which does not include the phase uh, following phase is the phase is synchronous growth with this we finish with few of the mcqs from bacterial growth part 1 Stay tuned for our next part. Thank you.